Hello everyone! As a first video on this channel, I chose the biggest events that took place in the north of France during World War II. Russia and Neptune was separated in different directions all over the long beach line 80 km long, but this time I'll talk only about one of the attack points called Tomaha Beach. Operation Neptune started. Over 150,000 soldiers were sent to the Normandy shores, about 34,000 of which were sent directly to the Omaha district. Most of them were Americans. No one of the soldiers didn't understand what kind of horror they would experience next. The operation was prepared so well, but very little went according to plan due to the bad weather. Because of this, the date of the operation was changed from the 5th of June to the next day. While attacks on the other points went quite well, on the Omaha beach soldiers met the unexpected opposition of the German army, which almost failed the operation. The fortification of the point were increased by Erwin Rommel shortly before the operation. His goal was to put about 300 million mines for the French beaches. However, by D-Day, he and his troops had laid down only over 4 million. After the boarding on landing boat, soldiers were moving to the shore. Every second, nervous tension was rising by getting closer to the frightening silhouette of Omaha Beach. A lot of boats were sunk due to the high waves and heavy fog in front of them. The ram dropped and the instant chaos erupted. Machine guns, mortar fire, grenades, pistols, human screams. All the sounds mixed together right after they stepped on the wet sand. Most of the people of 1st Division were literally immediately met with heavy machine guns and artillery fire to the face. There was just no place to hide at all. Hedgehogs, small trenches, destroyed machinery, that's it. A lot of bodies in the water and on the ground were part of a normal picture from that day. I was the first one out. The next fire was shot, two kills, three wounded. The seventh man was the next one to get across the beach without being hit. All the ones in between were hit. That's how lucky you had to be. Captain Richard Mill from the 2nd Ranger Battalion said The main problem of the attack were bad weather conditions, fog and storm, and the obvious geography advantage of the Germany side. The beach was flat and white, and closed at both ends by high cliffs. In addition to that, there were 35 concrete nests on the cliffs that were so well camouflaged that they were almost invisible. A lot of casualties from the Allies' side were the result of the initial plan failing. However, the Allies adapted quickly and the situation started getting better. American soldiers were pushing forward. Engineers played a huge role in breaking the barriers and helping to overcome such obstacles as minefields and barbed wire. By the end of the D-Day, the beachhead was established, making possible further actions in the entire Normandy area. Another reason for the victory was the absence of Field Marshal Rommel, who was in charge of the French Atlantic Wall at that time. Just after the fortification upgrade, he left to celebrate his wife's birthday, so during the D-Day that took place in France, he was in Germany. The main idea of the attack was to create a powerful base to fight against Germany. The North Shores of Normandy have a deep water port that was essential for a successful attack on Paris and Cherbourg. The Allies secured five beachheads by a nightfall on the 6th of June, landing 155,000 troops. That was the short story about one of the five parts of Normandy landing. The other four will come someday. You can write your feedback in the comment section or just rate this video. See you!